I'll share any story with you. Let's begin. This is a story of sacred relics, stolen for profane purposes. When the Mongols targeted divine artifacts, and how the ghosts rose to stand in their way. As the ghosts neared, they were met by a single monk. Over here! A Mongol scout was pulling this cart. He ran toward his friends when he spotted me. As the ghosts knew, a scout meant more Mongols were near. They're coming! Please, don't let them defile the temple ground! Into the shadows! Another group of Mongols appeared intent on killing the monk. Stolen relics, the statue was nowhere to be found. Please find the statue. It's sacred to our people. The ghost continued searching below the temple. Into the shadows! <laughs>
here. But where were they taking it? Along with this statue, the ghosts found a map with the path the Mongols were taking. Many believe temple statues hold great power, sometimes even containing the spirit of the Kama. Other times, that of a demon. The ghosts arrived at the first marked location on the map and planned their attack. If the map is right, the Mongols will pass this way soon. This way! Follow me! Come on! Mongol and demon alike, but more enemies were on the horizon. Ghosts heard the rest of the caravan approaching. Oh, my God. 
with them. Perhaps the things they stole have already been taken ahead. We should find out where they were going. The ghost reached the final location on the map in the Umugi Swampland. I dare not go any further. It's up to you now. So... to protect the stolen statues and relics, eager to protect the evil army. Ya 
With the Oni leader defeated, Io's plan had failed. The statues and relics were returned to the temples and kept under watchful eye. For even today, some claim they fear our world once more. Deeds of the ghosts are many. Let me share one with you. Choose, and I'll tell it. A harrowing tale. <laughs> I'll share any story with you. This is a tale of how the ghosts fought man and spirit alike. A Mongol named Sukhbatar had found a way to enslave the dead before they could be reborn. He hoped to create an invincible army that would allow him to easily conquer Tsushima. With every enemy he killed, Sukhbatar gained an obedient soldier. The ghost felt the heat from the rising flames. The dead littered the ground. Bloodied and terrified, a Mongol called out for help. Follow me! This way! Water betrayed us. He believes we are too weak. Let's go. He'll kill us all and control our spirits. Through the fog came the spirits of the recently slain. They stepped over their own corpses to attack the ghosts.
spirits. Rest. The Mongol's hand clasped a scroll outlining the path of Sukhumatab's army. The ghosts set out in pursuit. Somehow, Sukhbatar had found a way to create Onryo. Vengeful spirits. They followed his every order. Mongol, bandit, and samurai alike fell under Sukhbatar's control. The ghost followed the path until they came across a small, quiet village. But the flashes of lightning revealed they were not The ghost followed the path until they came across a small, quiet village. But the flashes of lightning revealed they were not alone. Finished off an amulet meant to keep the spirits away. Into the shadows. <laughs> Puddles of blood darkened the pure white snow leading out of the village. Come on! This way! 
bloodstains led toward the window, as if someone had crawled there to escape. Thank you. Follow me. Thank you. Tightly in the man's hand was a blood-stained scroll, covered in strange symbols. The ghosts struggled to make sense of the cryptic writing, certain they were linked in some way to the spirits. In the distance, the ghosts heard the sounds of a Mongol patrol approaching. Come on! My God. The ghosts watched as spirits of slain samurai emerged from the fight them.
The bodies of the dead Mongols wore the insignia of Sukhbata. The ghosts were on the right track. Sukhbatar sacrificed allies and friends alike to increase the number of spirits under his control. For he desired an army compelled to obey his every whim. One that knew no fear and could never retreat. Let's go! The ghosts finally caught up to Sukhbatar's forces. Feel my Look into the blood, eager to free the spirit from his grasp. Helming suffering from a nearby building broke in fog. the remains of a family burned beyond recognition. Large building slowly dissipated. My gratitude. Let's go. You're a worthy ally. Time to disappear. From the homes on the hill, screams pierced the air. Take this. <laughs> Ghosts were angered by the slaughter of the village. The spirits vanquished, the fog faded away. Oh! <laughs> 
Stock up here. Chanting, wafted from the nearby docks, obscured deep in the fog. Remaining villagers, mangled and broken, were left to rot in a net like fish. The fog around the docks floated slowly down the river. My god! Treat your wounds here! Suddenly, Zook Barter's voice boomed throughout the village. Come, ghosts. Once you are dead, I will display your bodies as a warning to others that even the ghosts are helpless before Zook Barter. Heavy footfalls approached. The ghosts readied themselves for battle. Zukubatar's dreadful warriors had covered his escape. The ghosts moved on from the decimated village. Into the shadows! Knowing more would suffer the same fate if Zukubatar wasn't found and defeated. Appreciate it! Thank <laughs> you. 